The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, one of the seven Union territories of India, are a group of islands at the juncture of the Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea. The territory is 150 kilometers 93 miles north of Aceh in Indonesia and separated from Thailand and Myanmar Burma by the Andaman Sea. It comprises two island groups, the Andaman Islands and the Nicobar Islands, separated by the 10 degrees north parallel, with the Andamans to the north of this latitude, and the Nicobars to the south or by 179 km. The Andaman Sea lies to the east and the Bay of Bengal to the west. The territory's capital is the city of Port Blair. The total land area of these islands is approximately 8,249 square kilometres the capital of Nicobar Islands is Kar Nicobar. The islands host the Andaman and Nicobar Command, the only tri-service geographical command of the Indian Armed Forces. The Andaman Islands are home to the Sentinelese people, an uncontacted people. The Sentinelese are the only people currently known to not have reached further than a Paleolithic level of technology. History Topic. Topic. First inhabitants Topic. The earliest archaeological evidence documents some 2,200 years. However, genetic and cultural studies suggest that the indigenous Andamanese people may have been isolated from other populations during the Middle Paleolithic, which ended 30,000 years ago. Since that time, the Andamanese have diversified into linguistically and culturally distinct, territorial groups. The Nicobar Islands appear to have been populated by people of various backgrounds. By the time of European contact, the indigenous inhabitants had coalesced into the Nicobarese people, speaking a Mon Khmer language, and the Champan, whose language is of uncertain affiliation. Both are unrelated to the Andamanese, but being closely related to the Austroasiatic languages in mainland Southeast Asia. Topic. Chola Empire period Topic. Rajendra Chola I AD, used the Andaman and Nicobar Islands as a strategic naval base to launch an expedition against the Sriwijaya Empire Indonesia. The Cholas called the island Ma Nakavaram, Great Open, Naked Land, found in the Thanjavur inscription of 1050 AD. European traveller Marco Polo 12th, 13th century also referred to this island as Nekavaran, and a corrupted form of the Tamil name Nakavaram would have led to the modern name Nicobar during the British colonial period. <laughs> <laughs> Danish colonial period and British rule the history of organised European colonisation on the islands began when settlers from the Danish East India Company arrived in the Nicobar Islands on 12 December 1755. On 1 January 1756, the Nicobar Islands were made a Danish colony, first named New Denmark, and later December 1756 Frederick's Islands Frederiksorn. During 1754 to 1756 they were administrated from Trankabare in continental Danish India. The islands were repeatedly abandoned due to outbreaks of malaria between the 14th of April 1759 and the 19th of August 1768. From 1787 to 1807, 05, 1814 to 1831, 1830 to 1834, and gradually from 1848 for good. From the 1st of June 1778 to 1784, Austria mistakenly assumed that Denmark had abandoned its claims to the Nicobar Islands and attempted to establish a colony on them, renaming them. Theresia Islands. In 1789, the British set up a naval base and penal colony on Chatham Island next to Great Andaman, where now lies the town of Port Blair. Two years later, the colony was moved to Port Cornwallis on Great Andaman, but it was abandoned in 1796 due to disease. Denmark's presence in the territory ended formally on 16 October 1868 when it sold the rights to the Nicobar Islands to Britain, which made them part of British India in 1869. In 1858 the British again established a colony at Port Blair, which proved to be more permanent. The primary purpose was to set up a penal colony for criminal convicts from the Indian subcontinent. The colony came to include the infamous cellular jail. 
In 1872 the Andaman and Nicobar Islands were united under a single chief commissioner at Port Blair. World War II during World War II, the islands were practically under Japanese control, only nominally under the authority of the Arzi Hukumate Azad Hind of Subhash Chandra Bose. Bose visited the islands during the war, and renamed them as Shahid Dweep Martyr Island and Swaraj Dweep Self-Rule Island. General Loganathan, of the Indian National Army was made the governor of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. On the 22nd of February 1944 he along with four INA officers, Major Mansour Ali Alvi, Sub. Lieutenant M.D. Iqbal, Lieutenant Suba Singh and stenographer Srinivasan, arrived at Lambaline Airport in Port Blair. On 21 March 1944 the headquarters of the civil administration was established near the Gurudwara at Aberdeen Bazaar. On 2 October 1944, call. Loganathan handed over the charge to Maj. Alvian left Port Blair, never to return. Japanese Vice Admiral Hara Tizo, and Major General Taimanori Sato surrendered the islands to Brigadier J. A. Salomons, commander of 116th Indian Infantry Brigade, and Chief Administrator Mr. Noel K. Patterson, Indian Civil Service, on 7 October 1945, in a ceremony performed on the Gymkhana ground, Port Blair. Post-independence During the independence of both India 1947 and Burma 1948, the departing British announced their intention to resettle all Anglo-Indians and Anglo-Burmese on these islands to form their own nation, although this never materialised. It became part of India in 1950 and was declared as a union territory of the nation in 1956. India has been developing defence facilities on the islands since the 1980s. The islands now have a key position in India's strategic role in the Bay of Bengal and the Malacca Strait. Topic: 2004 Asian Tsunami. Topic. On 26 December 2004, the coasts of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands were devastated by a 10 metres 33 feet massive tsunami following the undersea earthquake off Indian Ocean. More than 2,000 people lost their lives, more than 4,000 children were orphaned or suffered the loss of one parent, and a minimum of 40,000 people were rendered homeless. More than 46,000 people were injured. The worst affected Nicobar Islands were Kachal and Indira Point, the latter subsided 4.25 metres .9 feet and was partially submerged in the ocean. The lighthouse at Indira Point was damaged but has been repaired since then. The territory lost a large amount of area which is now submerged. The territory which was at Indian states 8073 square kilometers 3117 square miles is now at 7950 square kilometers 3070 square miles while locals and tourists of the islands suffered the greatest casualties from the tsunami most of the aboriginal people survived because oral traditions passed down from generations ago warned them to evacuate from large waves that follow large earthquakes topic Geography Topic. There are 572 islands in the territory having an area of 8,249 square kilometers 3,185 square miles. Of these, about 38 are permanently inhabited. The islands extend from 6 degrees to 14 degrees north latitudes and from 92 degrees to 94 degrees east longitudes. The Andamans are separated from the Nicobar group by a channel, the 10 degree channel some 150 km 93 miles wide. The highest point is located in North Andaman Island Saddle Peak at 732 meters 2402 feet. The Andaman group has 325 islands which cover an area of 6170 square kilometers 2382 square miles while the Nicobar group has only 247 islands with an area of 1765 square kilometers 681 square miles 
The capital of the Union Territory, Port Blair, is located 1,255 kilometers (780 miles) from Kolkata, 1,200 kilometers (750 miles) from Visakhapatnam, and 1,190 kilometers (740 miles) from Chennai. The northernmost point of the Andaman and Nicobars group is 901 kilometers (560 miles) away from the mouth of the Hooghly River and 190 kilometers (120 miles) from Myanmar. Indira Point at 6 degrees 45 minutes 10 seconds north and 93 degrees 49 minutes 36 seconds east at the southern tip of the southernmost island, Great Nicobar, is the southernmost point of India and lies only 150 kilometers (93 miles) from Sumatra in Indonesia. The only volcano in India, Barren Island, is located in Andaman and Nicobar. It is an active volcano and erupted in 2017. Topic: <inaudible> Flora. Topic: The Andaman and Nicobar Islands have a tropical rainforest canopy made of a mixed flora with elements from Indian, Myanmar, Malaysian, and endemic floral strains. So far, about 2,200 varieties of plants have been recorded, out of which 200 are endemic and 1,300 do not occur in mainland India. The South Andaman forests have a profuse growth of epiphytic vegetation, mostly ferns and orchids. The Middle Andamans harbors mostly moist deciduous forests. North Andamans is characterized by the wet evergreen type, with plenty of woody climbers. The North Nicobar Islands including Kar Nicobar and Batamalv are marked by the complete absence of evergreen forests, while such forests form the dominant vegetation in the central and southern islands of the Nicobar group. Grasslands occur only in the Nicobars, and while deciduous forests are common in the Andamans, they are almost absent in the Nicobars. The present forest coverage is claimed to be 86.2% of the total land area. This atypical forest coverage is made up of 12 types, namely, Giant Evergreen Forest Andamans Tropical Evergreen Forest Southern Hilltop Tropical Evergreen Forest Cane Breaks Wet Bamboo Breaks Andamans Semi-Evergreen Forest Andamans Moist Deciduous Forest Andamans Secondary Moist Deciduous Forest Littoral Forest Mangrove Forest Brackish Water Mixed Forest Submontane Forest Topic. Fauna Topic. This tropical rain forest, despite its isolation from adjacent land masses, is surprisingly rich with a diversity of animal life. About 50 varieties of forest mammals are found to occur in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Some are endemic, including the Andaman wild boar. Rodents are the largest group with 26 species, followed by 14 species of bat. Among the larger mammals there are two endemic varieties of wild boar, Sus scrofa andamanensis from Andaman and Sus scrofa nicobaricus from Nicobar, which are protected by the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 Saltwater crocodile is also found in abundance. The state animal of Andaman is the dugong, also known as the sea cow, which can be found in Little Andaman. Around 1962 there was an attempt to introduce the leopard, which was unsuccessful because of unsuitable habitat. These were ill-considered moves as exotic introductions can cause havoc to island flora and fauna. About 270 species of birds are found in the territory, 14 of them are endemic, the majority to the Nicobar Island group. The islands. Many caves are nesting grounds for the edible nest swiftlet, whose nests are prized in China for bird. S. Nest Soup, the territory is home to about 225 species of butterflies and moths. Ten species are endemic to these islands. Mount Harriet National Park is one of the richest areas of butterfly and moth diversity on these islands. The islands are well known for prized shellfish, especially from the genera Turbo, Trochus, Murex and Nautilus. Earliest recorded commercial exploitation began during 1929. Many cottage industries produce a range of decorative shell items. Giant clams, green mussels and oysters support edible shellfishery. The shells of scallops, clams, and cockle are burnt in kilns to produce edible lime. There are 96 wildlife sanctuaries, 9 national parks and 1 biosphere reserve in these islands. Demographics 
Topic as of 2011 Census of India, the population of the Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands was 379,944, of which 202,330 were male and 177,614 were female. The sex ratio was 878 females per 1,000 males. Only 10% of the population lived in Nicobar Islands. The areas and populations at the 2001 and 2011 censuses of the three districts are There remain approximately 400 to 450 indigenous Andamanese in the Andaman Islands, the Jarawa and Sentinelese in particular maintaining a steadfast independence and refusing most attempts at contact. In the Nicobar Islands, the indigenous people are the Nicobaresi, or Nicobari, living throughout many of the islands, and the Champan, restricted to the hinterland of Great Nicobar. More than 2,000 people belonging to the Karen tribe live in the Mayabundar Tessel of North Andaman district, almost all of whom are Christians. Despite their tribal origins, the Karen of Andamans have other backward class OBC status in the Andamans. Languages <inaudible> 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 Bengali is the most spoken language in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Hindi is official language of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, while English is declared an additional official language for communication purposes. As of 2011 census, Bengali is spoken as the first language by 28.49% of the Union Territory's population followed by Hindi 19.29%, Tamil 15.20%, Telugu 13.24%, Nicobarese 7.65 and Malayalam 7.22%. Topic: Religion. Topic: the majority of people of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are Hindus 69.44%, with Christians forming a large minority of 21.7% of the population, according to the 2011 Census of India. There is a small but significant Muslim minority. Administration In 1874, the British had placed the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in one administrative territory headed by a chief commissioner as its judicial administrator. On 1 August 1974, the Nicobar Islands were hived off into another revenue district with district headquarters at Car Nicobar under a deputy commissioner. In 1982, the post of lieutenant governor was created who replaced the chief commissioner as the head of administration. Subsequently, a Pradesh Council with councillors as representatives of the people was constituted to advise the lieutenant governor. The islands sends one representative to Lok Sabha from its Andaman and Nicobar Islands Lok Sabha constituency. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions The Andaman and Nicobar Islands is divided into three districts. Each district is further divided into subdivisions and taliks North and Middle Andaman Headquarters, Mayabundar Dilipur Subdivision Dilipur Talik Mayabundar Subdivision Mayabundar Talik Rangat to Look South Andaman Headquarters, Port Blair Port Blair Subdivision Port Blair Talik Faragunj Talik Jerkatang Talik Native Jarawa Reservation Richie's Archipelago Subdivision Richie's Archipelago Toluca Havelock Island Little Andaman Subdivision Little Andaman Toluca Hut Bay Nicobar Headquarters Car Nicobar Car Nicobar Subdivision Car Nicobar Talik Nankori Subdivision Nankori Talik Kamorta Talik Teresa Talik Kachal Talik Great Nicobar Subdivision Great Nicobar Talik Campbell Bay Little Nicobar Talik Topic Economy Topic Topic Agriculture Topic 
A total of 48,675 hectares acres of land is used for agriculture purposes. Paddy, the main food crop, is mostly cultivated in Andaman group of islands, whereas coconut and arecanid are the cash crops of Nicobar group of islands. Field crops, namely pulses, oilseeds and vegetables are grown, followed by paddy during Rabi season. Different kinds of fruits such as mango, sapota, orange, banana, papaya, pineapple and root crops are grown on hilly land owned by farmers. Spices such as pepper, clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon are grown under a multi-tier cropping system. Rubber, red oil, palm, noni and cashew are grown on a limited scale in these islands. Industry there are 1,374 registered small-scale, village and handicraft units. Two units are export-oriented in the line of fish processing activity. Apart from this, there are shell and wood-based handicraft units. There are also four medium-sized industrial units. SSI units are engaged in the production of polythene bags, PVC conduit pipes and fittings, paints and varnishes, fiber glass and mini flour mills, soft drinks and beverages, etc. Small-scale and handicraft units are also engaged in shell crafts, bakery products, rice milling, furniture making, etc. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands Integrated Development Corporation has spread its wings in the field of tourism, fisheries, industries and industrial financing and functions as authorized agents for Alliance Air, Jet Airways. The islands have become a tourist destination, due to the draw of their largely unspoiled virgin beaches and waters. Tourism Andaman and Nicobar Islands are developing into a major tourism hub with exotic-looking beaches and pristine islands having equally exotic names, wonderful opportunities for adventure sports like snorkeling and sea walking. In Port Blair, the main places to visit are the Cellular Jail, Mahatma Gandhi Marine National Park, Andaman Water Sports Complex, Chatham Saw Mill, Mini Zoo, Corbin's Cove, Chidia Tapu, Wandor Beach, Forest Museum, Anthropological Museum, Fisheries Museum, Naval Museum, Samudrika, Ross Island and Viper Island. Other places include Havelock Island famous for Radhanagar Beach, Neil Island for scuba diving, snorkeling, Sink Island, Saddle Peak, Mount Harriet and Mud Volcano. The southern group Nicobar Islands is mostly inaccessible to tourists. Indian tourists do not require a permit to visit the Andaman Islands, but if they wish to visit any tribal areas they need a special permit from the Deputy Commissioner in Port Blair. Permits are required for foreign nationals. For foreign nationals arriving by air, these are granted upon arrival at Port Blair. According to official estimates, the flow of tourists doubled to nearly 300,000 in 2012 from 130,000 in 2008-09. The Radhanagar Beach was chosen as Asia's best beach in 2004. Topic: <laughs> Macroeconomic trend. Topic: this is a chart of trend of gross state domestic product GSDP of Andaman and Nicobar Islands at market prices, estimated by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, with figures in millions of Indian rupees. Andaman and Nicobar Islands gross state domestic product for 2004 was estimated at $354 million in current prices. Topic. Power generation. Topic. With Japanese assistance, Southern Andaman Island will now have a 15 MW diesel power plant. This would be the first foreign investment of any kind allowed at this strategically significant island chain. This is believed to be an Indo-Japanese strategic initiative to strengthen civilian infrastructure in the vicinity of the Strait of Malacca, a strategically important choke point for the Chinese oil supply. Topic. Infrastructure. Topic. Topic. Internet. Topic. Internet access on the islands is limited and unreliable, since all connectivity to the outside world must go through satellite links. 
Bharat Broadband Network is building a fiber optic submarine cable running from five of the islands to Chennai, with completion expected in December 2019. The initial bandwidth will be 400 gigabits per second, roughly 400 times more than what the islands currently possess. Topic: The Sisters. Topic: The Sisters are small uninhabited islands in the Andaman Archipelago at the northern side of the Duncan Passage, about 6 kilometers (3.2 nmi) southeast of Passage Island and 18 kilometers (9.7 nmi) north of North Brother, East Sister Island and West Sister Island. The islands are about 250 meters (820 feet) apart, connected by a coral reef. They are covered by forests, and have rocky shores except for a beach on the northwest side of East Sister. Before the British established a colony on the Andaman, the Sister Islands were visited occasionally by the Anj people of Little Andaman Island for fishing. They may have been a way station for their temporary settlement of Rutland Island between 1890 and 1930. The islands have been a wildlife refuge since 1987, with an area of 0.36 square kilometers (0.14 square miles). Topic: Popular culture. Topic: Sir Arthur Conan Doyle refers to the Andaman Islands in his Sherlock Holmes story, The Sign of the Four. Topic. See also Topic 2004 Indian Ocean Earthquake and Tsunami Effect of the 2004 Indian Ocean Earthquake on India Endemic birds of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands 2014 Andaman Boat Disaster Coral Reefs in India Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Census of India Provisional Population Totals Andaman and Nicobar Administration Website Andaman and Nicobar Islands at Curlie Andaman and Nicobar Islands Travel Guide from Wikivoyage